You should do this exercise. It's very easy. First, calculate the average growth rate of your company and pull out the list of all your existing accounts and find out how many of those accounts are growing faster than your company's growth rate. So establish a baseline. It's very simple. Make sure that you use at least, say, three to five years of uh, data to be accurate. Such accounts are called as accelerating accounts. But let's say if an account is growing year on year, but that growth rate is less than the growth rate of your overall company's growth rate, then those accounts are what we call as decelerating accounts. Then the next is those accounts which are growing lesser year on year. Those we call as degrowing accounts. The fourth category are those where the revenue is more or less the same. So these are what we call as stagnant accounts. And the next are the clients who haven't done any business with you recently or very rarely use your service or your product occasionally use it. So uh, such accounts are called as dormant accounts. And the last is the set of clients who have attracted, who have not renewed the contract with you. When you completed this exercise, which is not very difficult to do, all your clients will be grouped into these six buckets that I talked about. And you will have a better idea of where your problem is with your intrinsic growth. For example, when you have some of your large accounts decelerating or degrowing, then you can be sure that that's where the problem is. And that's the problem on hand for you to solve. In fact, uh, I would say each of these six different types of clients, as we classify, needs to be handled very differently. For example, a client that's uh, growing more than the growth rate of your company uh, needs a different kind of engagement and relationship. On the other hand, a client who is dormant needs a different kind of engagement and relationship management. So it changes uh, from situation to situation. 